Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. Hey team, welcome to the Salty Brine. We're about 40 k's offshore. We're targeting anything that's going to be circulating around the bait balls below us. Little bit of slop on the surface. Looks pretty good to me. Fingers crossed we can get amongst the fish. Now we've got my young fella today, so we're going to be talking about taking the kids out and catching big fish. And fingers crossed, it all comes to plan. First things first, we've got to catch the bait. What we're doing here, dropping our jig down into that school of bait, lock it up, and we're instantly on. Once you find the bait on the sounder, it's important to locate directly below your boat. So as soon as you pull up, you drop down, these things are jumping straight on it, which tells us the fish around here should be prolific. Stunning. That's what we want. The bottom uh, three are pilchards. We don't want those. We'll take the slimies. Literally the best bait in the world. Have a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now we've got our bait ready. Uh, we're going to run a couple of different rigs. I'm going to use an overhead, a Talika 16. Uh, the young fella doesn't like to use the overheads. He's still in the spinning mode, so we're going to run the 20,000 Saragossa for him. The rig I'm using here, I've got the breakaway sinker up top, so that's attached to my swivel, which is the about 100 kilo swivel there. And I'm also going down to the octopus circle, chemically sharpened. That goes down to about 80 pound fluorocarbon litre, which is about five or six feet long. I've also got a glow bead uh, crimped on down this end of town. That'll help to track the fish. So how I put my bait on is quite simple. Grab one out. You can bridle them up. That is where you put the rubber band or a bit of Dacron through the eye socket of the fish, but I'm not. In this case here, I'm just going straight underneath and straight out the top. Now I'm going to put it further down into the fish's head like that. So I'll put it in nice and deep and that's a perfect rig. So all I have to do now is just drop him straight down. That size two rocket sinker is going to do justice and just keep it in the school of fish without bombing it straight to the bottom. All right, Kalen, this is your rod, buddy. Come and grab it. Here you go. Straight down. Go down about 25 metres. That's where the bait is. Good luck. Cracker of a fish. How are you travelling? Okay. <laughs> okay. So far. So far, all right. Yeah. Whenever you're taking your kids out, always, you, you got to help them, of course. You know, you don't just want to let them ponder in the waves by themselves, but any guidance helps and you learn stuff along the way because you're actually watching yourself fishing because what you've taught your young fella is something that they're now putting to the test. Are you ready? Wind, wind down. Stop. Wind down. Stop. Wind down. Stop. Lift up. Wind down. Lift up slowly. Now wind down. Stop. Lift up. Wind down. That's it, champ. Here he comes. He's a beautiful fish there, Kalen. Nice fish. There he goes. Look away! There we go, Kalen. Grab his tail, mate. Come up and grab his tail, buddy. Here's your Marlon champion. Bring him into the boat. Hold on to him. Hold on to him. That's Look at that, it. eh? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> How was that, mate? Good. What are your thoughts? It's good fish. Any other kids out there fishing? Got any tips for them? <laughs> Just pump and wind. Pump and wind. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Hold on to him. Hold on to him tight, buddy. There you go. That's a nice little black marlin. Taking on that light gear, of course. We were running a bit heavy on the Saragossa 20,000 matched up there with that 50 pound Therese rod, but for the kids, I do find the egg beater, or the spinning reel, to be better for you. What about compared to the overhead, mate? Overhead's a bit too hard, but the other one, I find it's so much easier. Perfect, all right, champ. There you have it, mate. Nice little black marlin. Taking on that live slimy mackerel. That rig certainly does the treat as well. And the nice light sinker, yep. Just gets that bait down a little bit deeper to where the fish are around those bait balls. Nice work, mate. I'm gonna let this fish just sink it down. You can hear the drag taking out. And I'm gonna let him just take it a bit more. And we're on. We're on. We're on. We're on. Back that drag off a touch. 
Have a look out here, follow that line into the water. Here he comes. He's not doing much at the moment, this fish, but just with that drag, he's coming up the front of us. He's uh, just under the bow. He's right here, actually. So this is the Talika 16. There he is. Whoa, there goes our bait. Nice. So we're running braid on this, and this fish, he's only just worked out that he's hooked. Now one thing you're going to notice everyone is that we've always, always got that rod tip bent. You don't keep the rod tip bent, when he jumps you get slack line, you lose the fish. He's out of here. He is out of here. Got a double hook up. There you go. <laughs> now this one's a shark, I think. Oh, God, shark, thank God. There you have it guys, another fantastic male, and this one here will let go. But I'll tell you what, it certainly has been a sensational day, hasn't it? We've got another bait to get into the water. There's plenty of action uh, still to come, but I'll tell you what, don't go anywhere, enjoy. Now here's some tips when taking the kids to catch a marlin or two. You'll need a 15 kilogram spin or overhead combo, something that they're really comfortable in using. Leader, try around 80 to 100 pound. Remember the fish aren't too big. You don't want something too big on the kids. A breakaway sinker is a necessity when live baiting. And hook your bait up with an 80 octopus hook. And kids, remember to free spool before striking. Oh, and hang on. Good luck. And of course, thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.